The nation's first law officer puts his account on public trial. The things that are being claimed to have happened did not happen. Christian Porter shattered by allegations dating back decades, insistent he'll stay on as Attorney General. I am not standing down or aside. To do so, he says, would be surrendering to smear and trial by media. If that happens, anyone in public life is able to be removed simply by the printing of an allegation. But to his accuser's family, he offered this. You did not deserve the frenzied politicisation of the circumstances of your daughter's death of the past week. I only knew your daughter for the briefest periods. That was more than 30 years ago, when Christian Porter was freshly graduated from Perth's prestigious Hale School. A champion debater, he was representing Australian schools in the World University's Debating Championship in Sydney in January 1988. His accuser, a brilliant teammate, seen here in a photo alongside 17-year-old Porter on the night she claims he raped her. She was 16. Her debating partners, Joe Dyer and Nick Ryan, among several friends who firmly believe she was telling the truth. The detail um, that she recounted, um, the lucidity with which she recounted it, and the clear impact that it had had on her, all of these things persuaded me immediately. Their friend took her own life in June last year, leaving a detailed statement for police, included in a dossier sent anonymously to the Prime Minister, Labor's Penny Wong and Sarah Hanson-Young of the Greens. Nothing in the allegations that have been printed ever happened. But the complainant's friends will continue to push for an independent inquiry, as will her lawyer. The purpose of such an inquiry would be to um, address the allegation, to investigate it, to collect all of the available evidence on both sides and weigh it up and assess it and then reach a determination. An idea with at least some political backing. A serious allegation like this against a cabinet minister deserves to be examined. What would I say in front of that inquiry? What would that inquiry ask me to do? To disprove something that didn't happen 33 years ago. For now at least, he's taking some leave. Are you OK? I've got to say, my answer, my honest answer is I really don't know. There are two irreconcilable accounts as to what happened in January 1988. It's the word of a woman who can no longer speak for herself against the word of a man who dreamed of being Prime Minister. Christian Porter likened his case to that of Bill Shorten, who was also accused of an historical rape some years back. But Mr Shorten's accuser still lives. Her accusation was tested and then closed by police. Mr Porter's burden is that he can't prove his innocence beyond his assertions, nor will his accuser have the opportunity to press for his guilt. As to whether Christian Porter can remain Attorney General in such circumstances will be a judgment for Scott Morrison. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra.